What's up comic creators, Peter here. Today I'm gonna show you guys uh, my process, how I enhance the audio uh, recordings that I have within the iMovie app for iPhone and iPad. Now iMovie itself is very limiting as far as what it allows you to do within the app on the phone and tablet uh, for audio editing. So I'm gonna utilize an outside resource that is 100% free and you don't have to download any other weird apps to use it. I've been using that resource for years and I've never had anything bad or go wrong with that. So I'm gonna open up iMovie right now and create a project and show you how I utilize uh, that, that resource. So there are two ways to do this. Uh, there's the easy way and the hard way. So the easy way is to lay out your audio for your entire project um, uh, before you even use this resource to do this. So basically don't do any of your music, don't do any of your intro, your outro, don't do any sound effects, anything like that. You just want the talking parts all done uh, in order to enhance this audio uh, on the app itself. And once you have all that laid out like I'm doing here, you're gonna go ahead and export that project into your photo library on your tablet or phone. Now, if you're saying to me, oh man, I have already added all the audio and sound effects and intro and outro and things like that, don't worry. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this process if you've already taken that step. But if you can do it this way, you definitely wanna do it this way because it's gonna save you time and space on your phone. So follow this process if you can. <laughs> okay, so this is Auphonic, auphonic.com. I've made a video on this before on how to use Auphonic to enhance audio on the computer. Luckily, you can do the exact same thing on your tablet or your phone. Uh, so once you've exported your project, go to Auphonic and you're gonna wanna click on Productions. You're gonna have to create an account with them. Uh, like I said, totally free, no downloads of an app or anything. This is all through Safari on your tablet or phone or whatever web browser you're using currently. I have a previous video that I have linked in the description box below where I went over the settings that you're gonna to use to enhance the audio for your footage. Um, and in that video, I have links to a Google Drive where you can get the JPEG or PDF that shows you the presets that you're gonna to wanna to use uh, one, until you learn basically how this stuff works. So like I said, you're gonna click on productions, new production, uh, and then this is your new production file right here. You're gonna select choose file, uh, and then you're gonna click on photo library, and then you're gonna select the video that you just exported from iMovie. And when you choose that, it's gonna compress the video uh, into Auphonic. All right, so once that's done, you're gonna scroll down, and the, the section that you may not have open the first time you do this is gonna be the output uh, files. So you may have to click that arrow right here. And then underneath that, you're gonna select MP3, and you're gonna switch that to AAC. And then after that, where it says 80 kbps right next to it, you're gonna click it and select uh, 256 kbps, which is just kilobits per second, and then AAC is just a higher audio quality versus MP3. And then right under that where it says video, you can just X out of that because we're not gonna be needing that at all. It's basically not needed because all we're focusing on is audio. All right, so this next part is under audio algorithms and you're gonna select loudness target and then go ahead and switch it to 18 LUFs, which stands for loudness units full scale, which means nothing to you. And then you're gonna wanna select denoise and then adjust the reduction amount to six dB. And after that, all you have to do is click start production. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna start it. Um, you are limited to about two hours per month on production. Uh, with Auphonic for free. So once you click that start production, it's gonna upload the files and then it's gonna take you into another menu section where it says it's actually working on the files. Now here's something important. You don't actually have to sit here and wait for this to finish. Um, it may take a while depending on the, the file size of your project. So you are able to leave. And then if you gave your correct email address in your account, it'll shoot you an email to let you know when it's done. But once it's done, it'll take you to this page right here that you see. And on this page, you can play the new enhanced audio to kind of see how it sounds. Um, you can also toggle between the old audio. So right now you're playing on the output section, um, but you can also play on the input section by clicking it, it unmutes it, and then click play. So you can kind of see the difference between the previous audio and the new audio that you now have. Okay, once that's done, you can scroll back up to the top and select download. It'll give you the option to view or download. You're definitely gonna wanna click download. And then you click that drop down arrow key in the top right and you select your file and click the share button. And then from there, you can actually share it directly into iMovie. 
That opens up a menu within iMovie where you select the project that you're working on. And once you select the project that you're working on, it'll import it directly into the timeline of your project. Boom, there you go. Now, if you leave it like this, um, you're gonna have both the old audio and the new audio playing over each other. So you're gonna wanna select the original clips and then you're just gonna turn that sound bar all the way down um, on the uh, audio icon, or you can uh, you know, just click the one on the left there and mute it. So either way, you've muted the original audio and now all that's playing is the new enhanced audio that you just edited using Auphonic. Now, if you have already added in your intro, your outro, your music and all that stuff, I'm gonna show you the process you can do to do this enhancement of your audio without losing all your work. So you're gonna go ahead and export your project, but you're gonna to go to options and then you're gonna change it from video to project. You'll go ahead and export that and essentially what you're doing, you're saving it to files and you're duplicating your project file. So it's going to send it into your phone. You can select iMovie and uh, basically you can edit it by clicking on the name and editing it. I dev I've done this once before. That's why it's saying number three. So I'm going to go ahead and just do 2.0 for kicks. Why not? And then you're going to just click save. And once you click save, it'll save it somewhere in your phone. Then you're going to go back out to projects at the top left hand corner. Uh, once you're in projects, you're going to click the three buttons on the bottom, click import project, and then you're going to go ahead and search audio editing 2.0. I clicked an audio and there's the two files, my original one, and I'm going to click my 2.0 one that I just saved. And that copies it and puts it into iMovie and automatically opens it up. So essentially from this point on, uh, what you're going to do is in that new version of the file, you have a complete copy with all of your uh, intros, outros, music, sounds, all that stuff. You go ahead and delete all that stuff so that way you can export just the talking parts only and then you follow the original steps for Auphonic. Essentially you just add the new Auphonic file into the original project that has all your intros and outros and sound effects. Therefore, you have your enhanced audio and you haven't lost any of your um, previous work. All right, that was that was a lot. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, I think that'll greatly enhance the audio effects that you have uh, in your iMovie project files. If you get stuck, comment below. I'll try and respond as fast as I can. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, on the video that helps all of the algorithms, helps with the search results and all that kind of stuff. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, keep tuned into this playlist that I'm adding this to, basically how to run your entire YouTube channel from your phone or tablet. Um, and you'll keep getting good advice from this. I'm gonna do how to export audio only. I'm gonna do all these separate things that I'm getting ready to show. Basically using just your device, you can have an entire successful YouTube channel. So it's pretty awesome. Stay tuned and yeah, take care guys. And I will talk to you soon.